adjust the level of the bed plate to be level with the extruder nozzle path. This is one of the most important skills that you're going to need for operating a 3D printer because if this is wrong, the first layer, the critical layer, will not be put down correct and the whole 3D part will be failed. So most 3D printers have a bed plate that's typically with three different leveling screws. So I have three different leveling screws. And to create a 2D plane, any three points will define a plane. So our goal is to make this thing nice and level with these three leveling screws. So um, we want usually these leveling screws to be further apart. Then we can make small minor changes uh, and it will make minute changes not a little bit of change it makes a lot of change which in some cheaper 3D printers is the case. So the first step is to turn on the power. We're going to turn on the power here on the front of the controller and we're going to make sure it's plugged in to the wall at 110 and we do have a, a GFI to protect us from electrical shock and next we're going to make sure that our LED lights are on so that's located on the side over here. We're going to need that uh, for our vision type thing. So we want those bed lights on. Next, on step three, we're going to set our 3D printer to auto home. We're going to come and press on our knob on our controller. And we are going to go down and turn the encoder knob down to prepare. And we're going to go all the way down to auto home. And I'm going to press the auto home. It's going to move the extruder assembly to 0, 0, 0. This is important. It gets the height to where we want it to be. Um, so then we're going to turn the power off. We're going to come over here and turn the power off on the right side of the controller. That's step four. Next, we're going to measure a couple of measurements. And before we do any movement of our extruder assembly or our heat a uh, heated bed plate, we need to have some caution. The difference between an electrical uh, generator and electric motor is small. So we want to move our bed plate or extruder anytime we move it. We want to move it very slowly. That way it doesn't generate electricity and backflow through the equipment and fry some of our components. So I'm going to move, let's say, the bed plate and I'm going to move it nice and slow. I don't want to move it fast, okay? So I'm going to move this out, and the first thing we're going to check is the measure from the frame. I am going to come over on this side, and I'm going to measure using a millimeter uh, rule. I'm going to go from the top of the Y plate. Over here is the top of the Y plate. I'm going to measure to the top of the bed plate, not the mirror glass the top of the plate and I'm going to measure to 28 millimeters 28 millimeters then I'm going to come over to this side I'm going to measure from the top of the Y plate to the top of the bed plate and not the top of the glass to the top of the bed plate and it'll be 28 millimeters we need to have that in the ballpark because if someone else was using it in your 3D printing lab and this thing's way off, we have to get it closer. Next, we want to double check our carriage assembly up here. We want to take the same millimeter ruling and want to go from the top of the stepper motor to the top of the, uh, of the assembly over here. And whatever that value is, it can be anywhere up and down, doesn't matter what the height is, we want to come over to the other side and measure from the top of the stepper motor to the top of the assembly. And they should be the same. If they're not, we can turn the, the screws, the lead screws, a little bit and adjust it. If it's not level, the same number, this is going to be tilted and this is going to jam. We're not going to get uh, this to be freely moving. So once we are sure of that, we are going to set, we're going to work on this first leveling screw. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this extruding assembly and I'm going to move it over to the right side slowly. 
Then I'm going to move the bed plate slowly so that this nozzle is directly nearby this leveling screw. I'm going to take a business card, a standard business card, and try to slide it underneath there. Now, right now, I can tell you that it should be taut under there. Okay, so our standard business card is about three millimeters, and we need to be a, just a slightly little less than that. So I'm going to pull it back out, and I'm going to take a screwdriver, and if I want it to be tighter, I'm going to loosen it and let it go up. And it doesn't take a whole lot of measurements. All I do is loosen this up until I get it nice and tight. And I have friction there. I want some snugness there. Um, so it has, you got to be able to get the business card underneath there and be able to move it, but it's got to have some snugness. Once we've done it for the first one, we're going to move it to the back right side leveling screw. I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to stick it under. That's way too loose. So I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Not a whole lot. Doesn't take a whole lot. I'll go back and I'll try my business cart. That was just about right. Okay, I probably could tighten it back down just a bit. And it only takes a little, little bit of change. And I have it nice and snug. Now, I'm going to move my bed back. And I'm going to slide over the extruder assembly over to the left side, nice and slow. I'm going to bring it over. I'm going to slide it underneath there. And I'm going to see that this is way too tight. I can't even get it underneath there now. So I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to push it down by tightening on the screw. So I'm going to tighten it a little bit, and I'm going to go back and check. And now it's a little too loose. I've got to bring it back up. I'm going to let it go up so the mirror goes up, and I'm going to check it. And so I'm going to put my biz business card underneath there, and it's too tight. So it's just a, a little bit of turning, and you can adjust that. Once you get all three of these at the right height, then you should run it around the edges and just do some spot checking around all four edges. It should be fine at that point. So now we got this bed plate level with the ex nozzle's path. Doesn't matter what the table is, the table could be on a side hill. It's not that. We are leveling the bed plate to the nozzle of the extruder assembly.